Today I'm going to go ahead and take an old laptop and upgrade it with a solid state disk. And all you need is one of these and the solid state disk. Let's go ahead and get started. Listen. If you're new to the channel, on most Tuesdays I go ahead and release what I call Tech Support Tuesday videos, which is like this video that you're watching right now, where I show you how to perform some of your own technical support to be able to go ahead and help you save some money uh, without having to take it to a store. And then on Fridays I release more technical videos, so go ahead and slap that like button if you haven't already, and also consider subscribing as well. If you turn on the bell notifications, then you'll be notified of each and every one of my releases. So first I'm going to go ahead and boot up the computer, and then I'm going to uninstall the antivirus so it does not interfere with the imaging software. Then go ahead and come on over to Google and search for Samsung Data Migration Software. Now come right on over to Samsung's site here. Then go ahead and scroll all the way down here until you see Data Migration. Go ahead and click on the plus over to the right and expand that. And then you'll see the data migration software and you just go ahead and click on download. So now we're going to go ahead and install the Samsung data migration software. Now this software will only work on Samsung SSDs but it is free with the purchase of their solid state disks. So now it's finished installing. So now I'm going to go ahead and take this drive and open up the box. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this drive out and connect it over to the SATA to USB 3 adapter and then plug it into the computer on the side. Now you'll see that the lights come on so you know that it's got power. And now we just go ahead and wait a little bit here while it tries to detect the SSD and we might also have to go ahead and click on this refresh button on the lower right hand corner. So now we can go ahead and click on the target drive and go ahead and hit start. And that's just saying that it's going to go ahead and shut down once it is done. All right, so now that the drive has finished cloning, I went ahead and disconnected it from the adapter. The system already shut down. And now I'm gonna go ahead and remove this bottom plate as well as the battery. And we'll go ahead and swap out the drive. So you can see the drive is there. I'm going to go ahead and pull the battery. Now before I start working on the inside, I'm going to go ahead and discharge any electricity that may still be in the chassis by holding down the power button. That goes ahead and completes the circuit and allows any electricity to flow freely until it is consumed by resistance. All right, so looking at the drive here, it looks like it's just a couple of screws. So we'll go ahead and remove these. All right, so now that we got the screws removed, there's this see-through plastic strip. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull the drive forward or to the left and then lift it up using that plastic strip and then wiggle it back until it just slides right out of the case. So now I'm going to go ahead and remove the screws here and swap out the drive. Now when doing this you want to make sure that the orientation of the SATA connectors themselves are exactly the same. So that way that the drive will line up properly when you're reinstalling it. Now we're going to go ahead and put the drive back in. Pull it back using that clear strip. And then put the screws back in securing the drive. Now we'll go ahead and put the back plate back on. Right. 
Now we're going to go ahead and toss the battery back in. Let's boot it back up. ahead and log in and there we go now it's all booted up way faster than what it once was so now I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this to Windows 10 using the Windows 10 upgrade utility directly from Microsoft and then get it all up to date running Windows 10 that's it for this video uh, if you like this video go ahead and slap that like button and go ahead and click on subscribe if you haven't already and if you click on that little bell for the notifications you'll be notified of each of my next releases as they come out uh, thank you so much for watching I just went ahead and pushed it forward or pushed it to the left. And then now I'm going to slide it. Now I'm going to go ahead and slide it to the right and over the SATA port. And there's actually a plastic ribbon here, as you can see.